between the battle for the regular season championship. Martin in first, who's looking to get his second win. And then we have LGD, Hopkins, Mine, and a lot of other drivers who are looking to get their second win of the season as well. Who is going to get it though if we get underway here in, in South Africa? Martin got a very good run coming into turn one. Coming into the whole shot, who's going to survive and who's going to get out of the track? All the cars seem to be doing just fine so far. You can see that said one of the drivers who were trying to get that regular season championship got way out into the outside. It looks like all the cars make it through just fine and just right they did. It is now Hopkins in first with Ross in second and Martin in third. Here's the racing here between Martin and Ross. Number one and number two in the title standings. Ross is going to pull the inside move here. She's got Martin's quarter panel. Taps Martin to the outside and she's got the lead. Not the lead, but the battle. But basically at the moment, the lead for the point standings. Is Martin going to retaliate though? Or is it too early? Or is Martin just going to wait? Coming out of the second to last turn. Martin doesn't want to pull off the bumping run yet. But he can get a pretty good run coming down this straightaway. And it looks like he is going to take advantage of that great run that he got. Coming down the back stretch and Martin gets second place back. Another car that's been looking to get back into the point standing significantly is the Luka Salva Marza. He's very, very good at road courses as we all know. But here's a little bit of surprises. The old one at Max and the 22 of Torres. Now Max is going to go inside the 8. Max has a really good car. On to left 3 coming down the back straightaway. And it looks like Levante Martin is going to take the lead from Paulia Hopkins. He's racing very aggressively on this on this track, and he really need to he really needs to considering how he really wants to take that points lead away from Ross. Using all as much as the track as he possibly can. Ross has a, doesn't need to get very aggressive now. Probably just waiting for Hopkins and Martin to settle themselves out. Here's a pretty good battle here between the 23 of Bolio Brown and the 53 of Huckleberry. Huckleberry, despite being the Season 1 champion, is going to need a miracle if he wants to get into the 10 race playoff this season. He has been abysmal for his standards, but he has come back by winning the All-Star race. And we did have some contact going here between the 8 and the 22. Very intense racing between these two. Is the A going to go inside of Torres? Looks like, like LTD is just looking anywhere he can to try to get the spot back. Pulls off the bump and run of the 22. Yes, he does. But it's not going to work. Torres decides to block it. And Torres gets a good one coming out of the back straight. On to lap 7 now. We are going into pit stops. Martin was the first in. It looks like his tire strategy at the moment, they inflated his tires, so there's less wear going on in the final laps. All cars are going to decide to take all four tires. Looks like Martin and Max will be the first two to come out. Connell's also having a pretty good run. Max is out of his stall. So is Martin, and Martin is going to be first. But let's look at all the drivers. Oh, we actually had a wreck here between... The, with the 21 of Cali Johnson with heavy damage. We'll look at that later. It looks like the next set of cars have come themselves in. Actually, looks like most of them are still coming out. We know the leader at the moment is Paulia Hopkins, if we can find that driver. There, there she is right now, Hopkins and Ross in first and second. But it's all about how fast it will pit stop be if they want to get ahead of Martin. They might even risk only taking two tires, but we will see. Coming into the pit stall, they both go under 55. It's going to be a pretty good battle here. Mina and LG, LGD's pit group seems to be really good at road courses especially. We'll see what impact that makes. If we go into our spectator cam here, there is Hopkins. And if we can find Levante Martin, who is the leader for now. Let's see what happens he goes on the pit stall. Yep, there is Martin. It looks like he's just coming down the back straightaway. Knocks out Torres out of there, and Torres is actually a lead car as well, so him and Torres are going to be 1-2. Here we go, the cars are taking their last set of tires. Here they come out of the pit stall right now, but you can see that Martin just zooms past Hopkins. Torres does as well, and Max does as well. 
Even Cottle's going to get ahead of Hopkins, it looks like. Looks like Hopkins will put herself ahead of Cottle, but Ross is going to work herself behind Huckleberry. Two laps to go here at South Africa. Martin in first, who also has the fastest slap bonus and the most laps led. All he needs is a win, and he will surely put himself ahead of Ross back into the point standing. And will be the first driver in the NICS this season to get multiple wins. A very great run from the 70 so far. Meanwhile, Ross has set herself way back in six. Martin going into the outside of the turn there. Do we have any other intense battles going on here? We actually do here. The 23, the 8, and the 54. LGD's picture actually was underwhelming this time around. But this did prove that coming in first seemed to be the one, seemed to be what did the best job. How the top three cars all came in at lap six, compared to lap seven. Is the A going to pull a move on the 54 here? These are two cars that are battling, ev doing everything they can to try to get into that final 10 race playoff. The A do bumping the 54. Could we get an incident here? It has been one of the common weaknesses of LGD is how passive he races, but he looks like he's going to get aggressive here. Is he going to get a good run down the straightaway? Looks like Mine and Bolio Brown take advantage of the draft. And Mine is actually going to go inside Bolio Brown this time. Brown and Mine side by side. One lap to go. Martin is ahead by two and a half seconds. He can just cruise from here. What's, what is LGD going to do? He's going to go to the inside and try to bump the 23 out of the way. It looks like he will pull it off. Side by side, and they make contact going through the side. This is a very narrow road course, but it looks like LGD gets him there. Coming back to the 70 of Martin now. He's ahead by over two seconds. A very good run from the old one of Max. Which next season, since nobody else has the one, he's just going to take the plain old one starting next season. Hopkins is trying to her best to get past Torres. Ross as well. Can they get past Torres before the race ends? Looks like LGD has not been able to get himself past Mine. Now Mine's battling once like Coddle. Mine got the post pit stop set up perfectly, it looks like. But it's going to be coming out of the back stretch for the final time. And right when he needed it the most, Levante Martin is going to come across the finish line and win here in South Africa. The African fans here are definitely going to love that. And now he parks himself to the side, just waiting for himself to do the burnout. The last car in the top 10. Who would it be? It will be the 23 of Bolio Brown. Now, before we end this race, let's see what happened with Callie Johnson earlier. Here is what happened here. The 21 gets into the 56 of Sparks, who gets into Davenport. But the 24 of Molina and the 19 of Opsal are both in it as well. A lot of drivers try their best to work themselves around it. But because of how long the track is, Johnson and Opsal were the only cars to fail to finish on the lead lap. View from Prusa Olso, which confirmed his last place finish. Unfortunately, for a driver who's really looking to get into the final 10 as well.